Hey everyone, how you doing? We are bringing it back a little old school up in here. We are gonna be doing a hyped makeup review, okay? I'm really excited. We have a bunch of new products to test out here that I am very excited about. I have them all over my desk. And I haven't sat down and filmed a makeup video with you guys in such a long time, so I'm really excited today. into our makeup we got to do some skin prep you guys can see I have a little blemish going on here some of my perioral dermatitis has been activated which has been so fun not I'm really excited to announce that I am partnering with Alpha H on this video it's one of my favorite skincare brands so let's get into how I would use these products to prep my skin right before we get into our makeup so I have already cleansed and prepped my face off camera, so we're gonna go right on in now with the Alpha H Liquid Gold with Glycolic Acid. I really love this product because it really brightens and clarifies my skin. You can use a cotton to apply it. I like to use my hands. I'm a very handsy girl. For me, I've noticed it also does a great job at evening out my skin tone because in the summer I have some pigmentation issues. My forehead is always a little bit darker than the rest of my face. And I really love that this just helps to exfoliate, tone, do everything that you need, and it's pretty gentle too. And you know, I live in LA and it is very dry here, so I feel like this does a great job at like helping with the fact that my skin is super dehydrated and dry. Now this right here is my baby. This is the Alpha H Golden Haze Face Oil. And it's great to use because it locks in the moisture and honestly prevents skin dehydration. It really helps calm and soothe my skin, give it a nice plumpy feel. And especially since I have dry skin, I really love using this oil before I apply my makeup and foundation. You can even use this to make your foundation a little bit more dewy. And I feel like it just really helps with my skin's elastic as well like I, I don't know I just feel like I'm glowing even though I have like a little blemish here and some stuff going on here I just still feel like my skin looks and feels beautiful so if you guys are interested in checking out these two products definitely check out the description bar down below I will have everything linked for you guys I highly recommend these products they are amazing and great for sensitive skin as well well now that my skin is all prepped and ready to go let's get on into this video of trying out hyped makeup so it's no secret to you guys that I always start off with my brows first and the first thing that I have in my hands here the new Tatric Tatric it's the new Patrick Ta brow products I'm trying to think of which one I would be probably this one it's the shade medium brown it's kind of like I don't know if you guys are able to see this I wonder Bringing it back old school vibes. It's got like a definer feel to it. Let's see if the hype is well deserved. Also, shout out to Manny MUA because he gave me the idea for this video. He's been doing a lot of these overhyped makeup videos, so I felt like I wanted to do a little bit of one. I feel like I'm so not a brow pencil girly, but these are pretty easy to use. Chalk it up to the fact that I don't really care for brow pencils like this. I'm more of a brow gel. The one brow pencil I actually do really like is this new one from Benefit. And I the way that I use it isn't even in like a classic pencil type of way. It's more just like filling in sparse areas. So it I mean it does a good job, but like it definitely just feels for me like I have to do my brows a little bit longer time-wise because it's a thinner product. I really just like an easy, quick one, two, three with my brow gel. So for our eyes, you guys know I always like to start with my eyes first. It's funny because a lot of the TikTok girlies do their eyes last and I'm just like, how? How the hell do you guys do this? How? I have seen this palette being advertised all over TikTok. It's all over my FYP. It's all over my Instagram ads. And I went out and bought it. And I gotta tell you, I have used it a little bit here and there. 
there. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's very, very pretty looking. So let's do an eye look with this today. I'm not exactly sure what kind of eye look I want to do. I'm kind of feeling a grungy look. Let's start with my base. I always go in with this NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is my favorite base for working with eyeshadows. I never know what I'm going to do when I look at these eyeshadow palettes. I get so overwhelmed. Like, I know I at least need to do my transition shade, so that's where I always start, at least. <laughs> and then after the transition shade, I'm like, oh, shit, now what? <laughs> Let's do, like, a fall grunge. I'm going to take this little, like, coppery, I guess copper brown shade right here. It's called Alluring. And I'm just going to dab this on, like, the outer part of my eye and start to feather the outside of this. Guys, where is this year going? Like, dead ass. How is it, like, middle of September right now? Like, I don't understand it. I still feel like mentally I'm in, like, 2021. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm like, should we add black? What have you guys been liking watching on YouTube these days? I feel like the only things I really watch on YouTube are podcasts. And it's mainly the H3H3 podcast. Like, I love them so freaking much. I love every single one of them. I think we're gonna add black, like F it, you know what I'm saying? So this black shade is called Animal Instinct, and I'm just gonna add it right there. This is in the very outer V of my eye, by the way. I'm just blending this out, buffing this out. I'm probably gonna go in with another layer of black, because I really want it to like be messy and fun. We want that. We really want like a blown out look. All right, so the black is kind of like where I want it for now. I'm gonna have to build it up too, but I want to see what it looks like with this shimmer shade on that I'm kind of buying. It's called Nightfall, and it's like a dark shimmery. Oh, yeah, it's like almost black. All right, let's go for it, I guess. I'm like, I'm in too deep now, so... All right, it's not too bad. I think I might brighten it up with, like, just a nice inner corner situation. I might stamp this. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go in with just, like, a lighter shimmer shade on top. So that way it's not like crazy looking, you know? There we go. Okay, I'm liking this so far. I'm liking this so far. I haven't worn dark eyeshadow in a very long time and I feel like the pandemic really shifted people away from using more dramatic makeup. So I'm kind of happy to be doing this and playing with my little like creativity here because even though this may not even be like that dramatic, it's definitely way more dramatic than anything I've worn in the past year or two. This palette is awesome. Yes, I really am liking it. I've used it before and I definitely do not think it's overhyped. Like, I think it's amazing. It's one of the palettes that's come out recently that actually makes me feel inspired. So anything that can make me feel inspired these days, I'm liking. And plus the products are really creamy and easy to use. They blend out really nicely. I'm gonna show you because we're gonna have to go in with our foundation anyway in a minute. And I kinda wanna show you guys what I do to like make it look blown out even though we're doing our eyes first. Now this little boy right here, I have been seeing everywhere, bish. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter situation, and I haven't had a chance to try it yet. I'm really excited to see what this is all about because everyone is liking it and wearing it. However, I don't know how this would be for oily skin. You guys know I have dry skin, so keep that in mind whenever I do any type of a complexion product situation. Okay, this is what it looks like, and it comes out in a doe foot applicator, which is very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury one. I'll actually I have the Charlotte one right here, so I'll show you guys. This is the Charlotte one, and the wand on the Charlotte one is obviously a bit smaller. This one on the e.l.f. one is larger, so you can cover more areas of your face. So let's just see what this is all about, and the shade I'm using is light number two. I'm going to blend this out with a brush. That's how I've been normally doing my foundation these days. So I get a little bit more coverage that way. And just so you guys know, like, you can wear this strictly on its own. However, the Charlotte Tilbury one is kind of meant to be mixed with foundation. So I'm kind of just, wow, this looks almost freaking identical to the Charlotte one. Damn, elf. 
is coming in hot. It feels really nice on my skin too. Literally just like tapping around the areas where my eyeshadow is because I want to still have that blown out look, but obviously I need to get foundation in these areas. So I'm just kind of like tapping whatever is on my brush. This is really, really, really nice, y'all. Oh, wow. I'm freaking impressed. I am very impressed with the way my skin looks, y'all. Okay, elf. I freaking see you guys. Since we kind of have like a base done, and I kind of want some more coverage and things like that, I got sent this Makeup Forever palette. Look at it. It's like front and back is a cream palette. Don't you just want to like shove your finger in it or something? I don't know. Maybe, maybe too much, too much. Too much, Nicole, too much. But I want to use this palette to do my face because I've seen this also everywhere as well and a lot of you guys have asked me when I showed it on my Instagram stories a lot of you guys were like review 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 so let's do a review I'm gonna go in with I think this shade and just kind of go in and get a little bit more coverage my nose lately I'm having such a hard time with products staying to it it's very annoying I'm like hello you never used to give me this problem. Let's use concealer now because I, I'm really, I feel like I need concealer for underneath my eyes. And one of the most hyped makeup products for concealer this year has been the Dior Backstage. I gotta tell you, I really do enjoy this concealer. I'm just going like softly around the black there because we still want to have a blown out look. I guess let's continue with this palette because we can also do contour and blush in here. This is very travel friendly because you pretty much have everything you would need for your base. Yeah, it works really. This is a really, actually I'm pretty impressed with this Makeup Forever palette. Obviously I know I haven't like set anything yet, but it's definitely feeling like I'm digging this product. Let's do our blush. I think I'm going to use a sponge for the blush. Oh, there it is. I love blush and I, I will always be a blush girl. Sorry, the girls that get it, get it. The girls that don't, don't. Alright, so I'm going to quickly set everything. I like to go in with a, like a little powder puff here and just really set my eyes and since we're gonna be working with the black shadow and kind of like buffing it out you want to get some of that powder over there as well I use the Laura Mercier translucent powder by the way I've been using the color rose love it let's fix up these eyes because it's bothering me a lot and I can't continue on so what I'm doing is taking a brush with no additional product on it and I'm just gonna start to go on in and buff whatever shadow is left in my outer corner. You can even go in with your transition shade, like if you feel like, oh shit, like it's coming out to my ears now, the way that I'm blending, like this one's a little bit farther out. I'm taking the transition shade and buffing that even a little bit more to kind of tone it back. This is one of my favorite tricks when it comes to makeup is really just utilizing that transition shade and making sure you're using that to buff out any dark areas or any areas that you feel like you may have blend out a little bit too much. So for the lower lash line here, we gotta be very careful because I don't wanna have like dark under eyes or anything crazy like that, so, what I'm going to do is just put down a nice transition shade first. Now I'm going to go in with black and I'm going to try to connect our outer corner to the outer lower lash line. Yeah, this eyeshadow palette is definitely not overhyped. Like, it has been so easy to use and the black barely has any fallout. Like, the fact that you guys aren't seeing any black here while I'm working with black on the lower lash line is amazing. All right, so the only thing left we have to do are lips, and quite frankly, I don't want to wear a red lipstick, but I want to test this out for you guys. This is the new Urban Decay Liquid Lip Lacquer, and it's basically supposed to be one of those things that we've seen. NYX was actually the first company that did it successfully. You would kiss it, not have any transfer, but still have like a glossy lip on. I shook this up vigorously. And let's just apply it. You're not supposed to let your lips touch, which is really hard. Like, I feel like I look like that cheeseburger meme. Trying to eat while having lipstick on, be like, how long do you let this have to let this dry? I mean, this is so dramatic. This is very sticky. 
Okay. I gotta be honest with you, Urban Decay really, for me, has not been impressing me at all lately. And even with these lipsticks, like, there, there still is a transfer. Like, I don't understand it. And it's sticky as hell. I'm just gonna do a, a completely different, like, situation here. I'm gonna smudge it. Smudge it out a little bit. I'm gonna go in with this MAC lipstick. It's called Yash. <laughs> Let's add this new Fenty Ice. It smells like peppermint and it makes your lips cooling. So, here is our finished look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little makeup video on hyped products, and I hope it was helpful for you. And yeah, if you like what you see, please consider subscribing, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.